Hi, this is John with PowerYourself.com, back here with part five of casting of the inner hearth. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but as Larry predicted, I did not get um, a full kind of settle or a full, full pour of this casting refractory. Um, he seems to think that it's just because of the, the Portland cement and some of the other stuff that I used to <coughs> come up with the refractory, but I'm not sure. I know it wasn't thick enough, it was still pretty sticky, so when I, I couldn't really pour it into the mold, I tried to shove it down to the bottom, and it didn't quite make it in some of the spots. As you can see, there's a nice big pocket right there. Um, because this is a prototype, I still think I'm going to go ahead and try to use this. I'm going to take my plasma torch and go ahead and cut a ring out, um, the, you know, the rest of this off and create a little flange, um, and then probably use that to kind of seal uh, the... A, the kind of the fuel hopper area of the inner hearth with down below this which is the ash pit shell um, down here which is where the combustible gases will be. Uh, I don't know how long this will last but if it crumbles apart or if it oxidizes away so be it. It's a prototype so I'm sure I'll get off uh, you know at least 20-30 minutes of operation. <clears throat> and so that's pretty much it with this. I am going to go ahead and try to use this. If it doesn't work I'll just go ahead and redo it. Um, but it did come out, I mean, it's pretty heavy, you know, it's a pretty solid piece. But, you know, the bottom where I had access, you can see on this side, this filled much better. Um, and this is it's pretty solid. It's just, you know, near the very, very bottom. I wasn't able to get it to fill in all, in all the places. You can see back here, it filled pretty nicely, but up here it was a little too small and this wasn't uh, fluid enough to, to flow in there, so. Anyway, that's, that's the first try. That's, that's what prototype engineering is all about and fabrication. You, sometimes it's not always, it doesn't always work out as you thought, but I learned and uh, I think if I made some adjustments, I could do it again and get a lot better results. So that's the update for today and that's the conclusion, I guess, is part six of the um, casting of the inner refractory hearth for the prototype gasifier. Uh, this is John Fedock signing off for PowerYourself.com.